this is the second video on the VAR Excel model. This video starts from the point where you've run all your points that you run a run. You can see I ran my current portfolio from our client and then from 5% risk all the way down to 17.5% risk. And I'm looking at the returns and I decide that the portfolio I want to use for my client is this one right here. It has a 10.23% risk, a 6.98% return. That compares to our starting point, which was also the same risk, but a much lower return. However, you'll notice that the, one, the portfolio I want to recommend, because it has the same risk but a higher return, is not on the line highlighted in green. So all I need to do is highlight the row I want, so whichever of these portfolios you choose, copy, control C by copying, right click on the line that's highlighted in green, do paste specials, values, hit OK. And you'll notice when you do that, that when you go over to the graphs to the right, so just cursor over to the right, you'll notice that the graph now shows your starting portfolio and your recommended portfolio your recommended asset allocation, your current allocation is all correct and you can see that if you click on the pie chart and do select data you'll notice that the row that it is highlighting is the one highlighted in green and so that's exactly what you want so but just double check to make sure but now all your charts all the charts that you need are there to the right of your data. So you've got the Efficient Frontier chart that shows the Efficient Frontier, your recommended allocation, and your current allocation. It shows your current allocation uh, pie chart versus your, so your recommended versus your current on the asset allocation. So now you have everything you need. And so save this file, and this would be your final your final uh, file.